Well, hello, good morning, and welcome to uh, an episode of Camara and I. I'm Mark Cooper, and I thought today we'd come to one of my favourite close to home nature reserves, Stampit Marsh, Christchurch. Quick flip you around, show you what we mean, and um, yeah, beautiful. Bells of the church in the background. And, uh, yeah, all the usual suspects around. Yeah, all our usual suspects around. Um, very nice to see. Um, even had a fleeting glimpse of a kingfisher, but uh, didn't manage to get him on film. But anyway, today we're just trialling the A6700 with birds ready, birds in flight. A um, few silhouettes, not doing that much, just having a bit of a walk around with the A6700. And uh, yeah, seeing what we can get. <coughs> yeah, so there's some marvellous light usually first thing in the morning at this uh, pontoon bridge. Quick flip you around, show you what I mean. Yeah, there's this old um, uh, World War II set up uh, pontoon bridge which is basically never left. It was some uh, Royal Engineers project that never left. And the light over to the far bank is really good. And um, had a few goals in close, which is quite nice. Was the uh, goal action is um, pretty good round here. And indeed, the uh, little egret has been quite active as well. And although I didn't get a great egret, on film I did actually have a great egret in view earlier in the day just over here as well but um, the little egrets have been magnificent and indeed um, the standard grey heron again very photogenic round here so uh, well worth a few shots so uh, yeah a couple of examples of those and probably one of my uh, best shots of the day and uh, probably my best shot of the day is going to be the takeoff of the grey heron with the uh, golden reeds in the background. So uh, yeah, keep watching. I'll save that one till the end. As usual, we put the best at the end of our videos on Camilla and I. So uh, yeah, I mean this um, A6700. Um, it's quite a good package, I must admit. I mean, if you've got big hands, forget it. Absolutely useless. Um, but uh, on the old uh, cotton carrier chest harness today, instant action. I've got the uh, 70 to uh, 350 mil on um, the f4.5 to uh, 6.3 lens from Sony, four-year-old lens. Um, but it is pretty, pretty responsive and uh, pretty quick. I must admit, it hasn't uh, let me down too much today. But it is the ergonomics of the A6700 that I think people will probably fall most foul on if you're considering getting the A6700. It is a, uh, a very capable package, but uh, you've got to have small hands and uh, dexterous fingers, really. I was wearing gloves this morning, and uh, yet, apart from pressing the shutter button and the focus button, very tricky to press anything else. So uh, yeah, bear that in mind if you're interested in this combo. So if you're looking for a relatively cheap, um, cheap, very small, lightweight little package, this is definitely an option for you. I mean, coming in around about the £2,000 mark, um, it has got most of the basic requirements as long as you can uh, select your uh, select your settings and then uh, pre-focus on your subject um, we're using zone focus for uh, potential birds in flight uh, one two oh one six one sixteen hundredth of a second at the moment and uh, f 6.3 wide open with this combination at the maximum reach of 350 millimeters and 
yeah very capable I mean no uh, no great shocks at all just got a wading red shank wading towards us well off in the distance just a silhouette at this particular angle but um, yeah no the portability is the factor the ability to be able to get into place um, which of course is key in wildlife photography um, see if I can just get a little bit of video of this uh, red shank coming towards us in silhouette and indeed the video capability is one of the reasons we've got this lens it is uh, quite amazing 4k 60 yeah just got that uh, just got this uh, red shank coming towards us if you know anything about red shanks as soon as they see you they're off so uh, yeah we're not expecting to get a photograph of this red shank oh there's a curly following it on behind now as well so uh, yeah we'll get a bit of video of both the curly seen means going the other way now but the uh, red shank is still oblivious and coming towards us amazing yeah so uh, yeah not only quite good at the still shots we are looking at the video capabilities of this camera as well so uh, this morning we have been primarily focusing on uh, stills but um, yeah it is incredible what you can get in such a small package okay But yeah, controlling these dials, it is very tricky. I've taken the gloves off now. The gloves are off. And uh, yeah, adjusting the uh, exposure compensation, pressing the little wheel at the bottom, and then uh, adjusting it on the uh, wheel right to left um, is all quite tricky. I've got a dial on the Sony A1 and um, yeah, the ergonomics are just so much better. But, uh, amazing. Lovely. Yeah, so there's no two ways about it. The A6700 is a very capable camera. I mean, it's not going to replace a £6,500 Sony A1. But uh, no, it's certainly got some uh, very cool features on it at the moment which make it a very interesting proposition and it's certainly a great walk around system and uh, yeah I'd certainly recommend it to uh, anybody who's uh, starting and wants a uh, top of the range APS-C camera um, you will get a better crop factor so you'll be one and a half times further in than the full frame system which will give you the impression that you're taking better shots without a doubt um, whether I'd still go for a full frame camera possibly if you could afford it but um, yeah it's um, but it's certainly very capable as um, yeah I just snap a quick uh, flyby of a little egret so uh, yeah see what that one comes out like um, you can certainly grab things on the go the autofocus on this is very good um, it's got the um, in body stabilization which gives you about oh how many stops of stabilization I'd say about six or seven with the uh, optical steady shot in the lens and the uh, five inbuilt in the uh, in the body so uh, yeah you can't fling it around like a uh, like a coconut shy like a uh, like a ball but um, yeah any slight erratic movements you should be covered so you can quite comfortably use it without a tripod um, it's got um, <coughs> and uh, the most important thing for wildlife is the autofocus system as long as you can set the buttons 
it's the autofocus that gets you in and uh, this is very capable animal insect and eye autofocus which is what we concentrate on Camilla and I so uh, yeah we're very happy with this combination as a walk around lens so we're very happy with this combination as a walk around lens and it fits very well in our chest harness at about uh, oh what does it weigh 500 grams about a pound for the camera and um, I think it's 800 grams 900 grams for the lens so this is a very lightweight setup so uh, yeah brilliant can walk around with this all day long you will get shots with this but you won't get using other systems because you will have this to hand whereas other systems you just won't have it available so uh, yeah that kingfisher was to appear now I'd be able to grab it in an instant no problem at all and uh, yeah it's all about being in the right place at the right time have it. just as I was uh, speaking that very segment to camera a uh, kingfisher turned up and uh, duly obliged just rested briefly on the uh, pontoon bridge so uh, yeah hopefully got a snap of it and a little bit of video so uh, yeah amazing obviously not set up I mean I would ideally be set in position with the uh, Sony A1 and the 600 millimeter trained on that subject trained on the bridge but I would have to wait for quite a long time for it to turn up so uh, yeah the advantages of the A6700 amazing so I think we'll call it a day there for the A6700 quick outing today quite a good little test to see what we could get and uh, yeah it's been quite a lovely little morning good light of course and as we know photography is all about the light so uh, yeah is this a fair test well no we're not we're not coming out crawling around in the early hours we did take some uh, some silhouette shots as the sun came up this morning but we haven't really tested its uh, capabilities as a, uh, a low light level but we do all know now the uh, DxO and Topaz denoise is very good. So uh, does low, low light matter as much as it did? Well, yeah, it still comes into play. Anyway, what a good session on Camilla and I with the A6700. Hopefully, so I'll put the best results now at the end. Have a good one. Bye from Camilla 2, the A6700. And I.